Warmest greetings in the Lord. I'm Dr. Dennis Roxer, senior pastor here at Duluth Bible Church, and I'm glad that you are joining us on our YouTube channel. This has provided a means for us to communicate the Word of God by means of the various biblical messages that are taught at Duluth Bible Church. And we hope that you would subscribe to our channel, and in doing so, you would also access uh, over 500 videos are available for you in studying the Word of God. We've just recently begun a series in the book of Genesis that I think you would find helpful. We've had a practical series recently on Be Humble or Be Humbled. We've addressed in the past controversial issues that many Christians are troubled about, such as should Christians fear outer darkness. We've had a series on worship. We've had posted here, the Man of God conferences, as well as our fall Bible conferences, which are typically expository in nature, as we've covered, for example, the Thessalonian epistles, we've covered the Upper Room Discourse of John 13 through 17, and in doing so, there's a number of Bible teachers that are involved in teaching the Word of God. We've also addressed issues of interest to people, like considering Calvinism. And what does the Bible really say about Calvinism or Arminianism and so forth? And where should we land biblically regarding this? We've covered spiritual gifts in the local church as we've gone verse by verse through 1 Corinthians chapters 12, 13, and 14. And as you will see, there are many others. If you're brand new and you are even examining Christianity, I would recommend that you watch the message on called The Gospel. And in doing so, it will explain to you how a lost sinner can come to have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ based upon the fact that Jesus Christ, God who became a man, died for our sins and rose again to provide salvation for us as a free gift that's received through simple childlike faith in him. Furthermore, we do have a series on the profile and priorities of an effective church. And so if you are concerned about the growth of your church and, and what the Word of God says there, we think you will find that helpful as well. And so we're so glad that you joined us here, and I trust that you will find this helpful. And if you want to drop us a line, feel free to do so at DuluthBible.org, and we would be glad to respond to your concerns or cares and such. So thanks for joining us, and pass the word around as well.